Hey guys. What's going on, man? Again? Yeah, so it is. This is the weekend after. We would have just come back from our cruise. What's wrong with Resta? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need to go out. He doesn't. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so this is the weekend after our cruise. Um, you would have known that we drove down to Miami, drove back, got home safely, and then what? The very next day. The transmission started to give. So, um, I was driving, I was trying to get us, like, get home, and I was trying to press the gas, and the car would not move. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't accelerating. So, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And I'm on the phone with my mom. She's a little bit of a mechanic. She's such a tomboy. She's at everything. Yeah, she is. So, she was like, it sounds like a transmission. She's like, is it shaking? And it was. So, I'm like, well, there goes that. Yeah. So, he brought it to, like, get it checked out. They said that it may be the beginning of transmission, transmission problems, issues, yeah. which is all he needed to hear. Of course, we didn't want to incur this kind of cost or expense right now. Mm -hmm. However, life is life in and things happen when you least expect it. However, we're just happy and grateful that we made it back home. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was what? A two and a half, three hour drive? Three hour drive. Mm -hmm. And it didn't give me any issues on the way back home. Yep. To yep. the rest, she said, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. Woke up, got me to work fine on the way back home. She's like, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Needless to say, today we are going to do what? Go car shopping. Yeah. We'll see if we can pull off the lot in something cute. All right. Let's yeah. see. Let's hope. <laughs> just made it um we decided to come to lakeland because which is like maybe 30 40 minutes away 40 minutes we're like 40 minutes from home yeah just because from looking online it seemed like it was going to be the cheaper option um brian kind of has an idea as to what he wants to do or in terms of what he wants to get so we're looking at those options we currently have a chevy and this lot has like Mitsubishi stuff as well as some Chevy stuff too. So yeah, we're taking our look. <laughs> this man is like a kid in a candy store right now. Not huge car people, but he knows what he wants. So uh, initial on these three lines and the signature at the bottom. So we are outside in this 100 degree weather. Yes, it is so hot. Yeah. But we're going to take a look at a few models currently. Do you know what you want already though? I think I know, but I'm still open to different things. There's another one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a few things that I, I want to take a look at. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, what he has currently, if you don't already know, is a Chevy Malibu. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So coming from a sedan thinking toying with the idea of getting a little higher off the ground a little compact suv yeah but we'll see what tickles our fancy and yeah we'll you guys are gonna have to stick around to the end though to see what to, yeah to see what we actually get if we do leave here <laughs> today with something so to be able to do it if i need to mm -hmm. and it's definitely a need at this point because you know it's, it's the amount of money you have spent on the transmission is the amount of money that the car value at this point mm -hmm. yeah so it was time yeah it was time alas you're gonna miss her i am there so i have sentimental value to that car mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I have sentimental value with that car because for one, that was the first brand new car that I had ever bought. And me and that car have been through it, like back and forth to Atlanta when I was gonna move to Atlanta. I've had that car repossessed when I was at my lowest in my life and I was able to get it right back like the next day. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of emotional attachment to that car, which I never thought that I would have. But um, it's time. Yeah. It's time. Well, so. this, let this new car, whatever we get, be the marking of a new beginning. Yeah. Hopefully a fruitful one. Mm -hmm. We're going to make sure that it is, yeah. you know? And it would be... I mean, I ain't contributing anything to it yet. <laughs> but I intend to. So it will be our first car together. Yeah. yeah. So this would literally be the first new thing we've gotten together. Mm -hmm. If you think about it. Yeah. So that's a huge stage. It is. So first car and then we'll buy our forever home a little later. Yep. Yep. First steps. <laughs> so I'm taking a little break from inside. Uh, Brian is... Now going through the process, um, trying to make sure that all the finances and everything are in order and then to sign up whatever it is that he has to sign up to make it official. But we have settled and we are definitely getting something before we leave here today. I hope it's not too breezy so you guys can actually hear me. But um, yeah, we're both happy with what the impending purchase is going to be. But he has always told me how the process up here in the US is you go there and same day you'll be driving off the lot with whatever it is that you're interested in. That's not quite how it works in Jamaica. Um, I remember when I bought my first car from like a new dealership, it took months because number one, I had to, after selecting what vehicle it is that I was interested in, it took months for it to reach in the country. Um, new dealerships in Jamaica can it can take several months for you to actually have whatever model of the vehicle be there. Um, and if you go and buy used, which you can go on the lot and see what you want and get it soon after. Soon after is like at least a couple of days because you have to go through the whole bank process. You more than likely would have gone through a financial institution where you'd have had to go there physically, sign up documents, or you'd have a sales officer like myself <laughs> who would actually come find you, have you sign, sign up whatever documents, but it definitely was never a same day process. Very, very few times have I ever processed a loan application and managed to get a letter of undertaking, not an approval or a disbursement, but a, an approval with a letter of undertaking, um, which means that we're able to continue the process and you wouldn't get the car, of course, until you're able to get a disbursement. So enough financial talk of course that's just the banker and me <laughs> that is like kind of fascinated by that so yeah definitely an experience and we're soon about to say bye to our little chevy yeah the bubbly <laughs> uh -huh. okay 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 yes. 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 i saw cheers and i was like yeah liquor is involved <laughs> guys so watching Sean vlog so it made me jump on the camera too because I gotta keep up right look at him go anyways we just finished eating at world of beer and we're heading to a very familiar place we know that these guys want to go out because they're sick of us being homebodies so <laughs> sure so we're going to Savoy so we're heading there now Sunday y'all <laughs> yeah, so Sean and Shai had to dip out really early this morning for work um, and we're gonna make a little Sunday dinner we're celebrating now, now that we're awake and 
um, rested, we're celebrating this new milestone together. Yeah. So Brian is making oxtail. So we're here at Walmart and we're just getting the stuff now. So see you in a bit. Chef Alec at work. <laughs> I'm here browning the the oxtail first. Brian has gone to go and get something. He's really the one doing this. Toast our peas already. I'm gonna boil those soon. We're in action, guys. We're in action here. The tail of ox is done. Yes. The ass tail. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good though. Look rich. The color is correct. Rice and peas is looking good. <laughs> I think this is the closest we, well, you've ever gotten it to like the real deal. Right? Look at you go, my Jamaican chef. Thank you. Smell the pepper. You smell it? Mm-hmm. So guys, I think we have held out long enough. We know what you're really here for. You wanna see what it is that we finally got. Just a reminder, um, I mean, we wanted to get a new car, but we really weren't trying to do this right now. But hey, when signs show up in your life you really have to listen to them and at the end of the day we are just really blessed and grateful that like looking at where we were a year ago we didn't think that this would be possible right now but alas we did it so yeah we're gonna share it with you guys are you ready to meet the new addition to our family <laughs> here she is Look at this one in the front seat. <laughs> Let me get in this front seat right here. Okay, I mean, it's a little dirty because it was dusty yesterday. <laughs> but we have our leather and suede interior. Are you gonna tell them about your new toy? Uh, you have the panoramic oh. on top. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know how far this goes. I think it only goes back. Just one panel? Yeah. That's so cute. Oh no. Okay, yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oops. We got nice back seats. It's more spacious, is it, than our last one? Um, I haven't been in the back seat yet. Yeah, we should try it. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Somebody left their glasses? Yep. Yeah, so Sean and Shai got to try out the back seat before anybody else. But I like it though. Ooh. It is very comfortable. I get right what here. they mean by it's comfortable because the, the seats are able to recline, but the back ones. Yeah, how do they do it though? I don't know. I think maybe they did it from the top. Eh, let's try it here. Oh, yes. There we go. It's on the top. Mm hmm. Yeah, that is nice. We finally have vents in our back seat mm -hmm. for our passengers. And then I think one of the coolest things about the car is like all the features that they have on the steering wheel, the customization. Mm -hmm. So we'll have Brian go and show you that in a second. Yeah, so this part I think is going to take some getting used to is this here. So you're just what, toggling forward and back mm -hmm. and then you just press the button to park mm -hmm. Brian finally has his push start car yeah upgrade I guess so <laughs> so the car allows you to change um, how you want it to look like the dashboard so you can change the meter view and then it's the regular meters it's like meters it's a completely um custom. 
what I was trying to do was figure out how to get the garage to open through the car. Because mm -hmm. a garage opener is a little dated. But I can't. So, we'll garage opener is. Other. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta figure it out. But either way, I still love this thing. Do you? Even I though we weren't prepared to do this? Yeah, we weren't prepared to do it at all. This was not something that we set out to do. Like, we had plans for the other car. I did plan to get this eventually, or something similar to it. But it wasn't for another, another couple months. Because mm -hmm. it was with the in the hopes of you being able to get the um, Malibu. Yeah. So we didn't have to get two cars. But, I mean, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It was a blessing that I was able to go and actually get what I wanted. So, I'm happy. Mm. Good. Until I have to pay my first payment. Right? <laughs> We're doing it together. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, this is one thing we definitely have to show you as well. Like the camera. So we're, we're in park right now. Mm -hmm. And this is see. forward. Yes, that's going forward. Yeah, so you're, it actually has a camera at the front. Mm -hmm. It has an overhead view. So it shows like what you're close to what's around it and then if you put it in reverse the camera's changed to the back of mm -hmm. and it'll show you it has a blind spot assist to let you know what's in the way or whatever the case mm -hmm. and then if you press park it goes right back to the front camera I won't be hitting anything okay <laughs> hope and then there's either if you don't like this like this will probably get in alex way from what he said yeah because i just want the reverse camera honestly i still use the mirrors when i'm reversing yeah so this shows the side of like the side front wheel and then it also has the full front mm -hmm. if you want if or you the full want. back so if you yeah. put it in reverse this turns to the back view yeah so there you go like the mm -hmm. and that's a wide view too mm -hmm. Hello guys. Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, so we were just waking up this morning with a whole lot of gratitude. Um, you know, I feel like this is yet another major step. We've made a whole lot of major steps in a very short period of time. Like this summer has been very, very good to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it is quickly coming to a close. In the same way that we're attempting to close this video. <laughs> but yes, we are just want to say thanks to everybody. We're so grateful for everything. Welcome to all the new people that are now here following this journey with us. Mm -hmm. But this is just the first of many great seasons to come. Yes. Yeah. Many milestones to, to reach with you guys. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for all of the support. We really appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. So, on that note, please comment down below. Share the video to somebody who you think might like this. Do you like the car? Let us know if you like it. Yes, tell us what you like about it. Did we make a good choice? And which one did you think we were going to go with? Mm hmm And, yeah, if you haven't already, do what? Subscribe. All right. Bye, guys.